Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. And it's a perfect day for it. It feels fallish out to me. It's been kind of cool today here in Ohio. And I have some hot coffee. And I have a Luna dog. Come here. I'm dog sitting this weekend. The boys are about. They're about doing their things. I found some fantastic things and I want to share with you. I'm pretty excited. This is a big haul for me. And yeah, I only went to one extra Dollar Tree this week and found all this stuff. So technically I went to two. I guess I should say that properly. I went to two Dollar Trees this week. But let's get started. This is going to be a long one. I found some Fruit of the Loom. And these are the men's socks and the men's fit me better they stay up better um, I like these because they have the rubber quite frankly I don't wear these in shoes I love in the winter and fall just wearing these I'm playing fetch while I record um, wearing these around the house they're nice and thick they're warm they have like a mesh at the top but the bottom is pretty padded I love them and yeah, they had them in this color on like a creamy oatmeal. I just went with white. Okay, can I have it or no? This is our toy. I, I think it was stuffed at one point, a Christmas bear. We have shenanigans in this house. Um, I picked up a pack of these to-go cups. I don't typically use them. I don't really go a lot of places. However, um, Pelotonia morning, I will take coffee in this and then I can just throw it away when I get down there and we're ready to ride because I, I have to have my coffee. So I can drink it on the way down and then if it's gone, I'll toss it. If not, I'll take it with me and then throw it away. So there's that. I found, oh, I grabbed some Energizer batteries. Boring. But look what they have. These are the, these are silicone stretch lids. You get three lids, they are silicone, and then you can stretch them over like a metal or glass bowl, and it seals the lid, but you don't have to have a specific lid for that specific size. I thought these are pretty cool. Uh, the brand is Hit Brands. So yeah, I thought that was fun. I've never seen that in the Dollar Tree before, and they feel, you know, silicone-y. I don't know. They feel like silicone, guys. I picked up, this is Spa Scriptions Active Essentials. Lavender and Vanilla. It restores and repairs overnight mask. It's formulated to moisturize and repair overnight, promoting rejuvenated and refreshed skin in the morning. And I believe, I think it's for like, I don't know, exercise people? I don't know, I'll let you know how it goes. Here's the thing, like, my skin gets pretty beat up in the summertime when I'm, it, I can't get it open, there's a sticker on it. It is cruelty free, it is made in China. Yeah, so it's an overnight mask, I'm gonna try it tonight. And see, cause I went riding my bike today and I'm a little like, I get salty burn, if that makes sense. I don't know what makes sense guys it's like the when I sweat and ride my bike it evaporates on my skin because I'm riding and it gets crystallized like salt Whatever. I found some more uh, hard candy look at that pink it's like a lipstick and a lip gloss I just think that's fun for summer I hope it's not totally opaque because I think that would be a fun like gloss and lipstick so I grabbed one of those and then they have uh, mascara it says curl up and dye lash curling mascara and I want to say this is like it's the color is mr. right so I think it's black but I or is that a dark blue I don't know I think it's black, but I needed mascara actually. Um, fun fact, and this is like in a, like a tube. 
Um, you should dispose of your mascara every six months. I think most makeup, but I would say mostly I do my mascara. And then they have this fun nail polish, which is like, it looks like, I don't know, cement or something. There's gray and, or white and black chunks, and then the pink, and then they have it in this teal color with white. So I got actually disposed of a lot of my nail polish. So this is perfect. I love this color, but it is, I don't know if it's glitter. I have a hard time getting glitter nail polish to come off my nails. Um, I don't know. It, I think it's clear with teal and silver like glitter, if I had to guess. But uh, this is, uh, doesn't say what, if this is a color or not, but I thought those would be fun. So that's all the makeup and beauty products I found. I'm assuming my stores will be getting to the end of the hard candy. Okay, speaking of candy. Um, I did grab some hot tamales, so I use these, I've said this one every time I haul candy, um, when I ride my bike or when I'm exercising, like backpacking, when I'm active more than two hours, give or take, then I take a few of these along just to get my blood sugars up. So I have some tamales for my backpacking trip, and for my Pelotonia ride, I grabbed a bag of Airhead Bites. They're just like... They're airheads, but just little like M&M shapes because I think these won't melt. It's gonna be hot when I ride and I can just grab a couple of these at a time whilst I am riding my bicycle. Hi, Luna. 51 carbs for this bag. So I certainly will pace myself and share them. But I also need to keep my blood sugar up. Hi, can you not lick me? Thank you. Do you wanna say hi? All right. Oh, this is Loon. Okay, ma'am, behave on it. You're on, you're on TV. You have to behave. This is my niece, Sarah's dog, Luna. She is a Chihuahua something blend. We don't know. Terrier, maybe. Schnauzer. Who knows? But she's cute. And I'm dog sitting. Okay, where's your toy? Go get your, bo get your bone. I found... This big bag of lemon cookie mix, Betty Crocker. Yes, it's not for you, ma'am. And I thought this would make, I mean, this is the big bag. This is definitely gonna make a couple dozen cookies. And it is good until January of 2022. Now they also have the giant bags of peanut butter cookies, which I do use at Christmas time, but it's, it's only good until November, so I'm not, I didn't buy it. But I did get the lemon, and I will make these and share them with my family for a summertime treat. So I'll make these, and you only need water. Oh, if you want to make cutouts, you'll need flour. But just to make drop cookies, you just need a stick of butter and an egg. And that's it and the lemon flavor. So I thought that would be fun. And then for my cousins, the young ones, I found the Cheetos macaroni and cheese. And this is just the regular, but this is the Flaming Hot Cheetos. And I, these are all the rage for the kids these days. I know like they love the Flaming Hot Cheetos and the Takis. So I thought they would enjoy this. It's something fun for them to have. And I wanted to show you. So I will put these in a bag because I have some other stuff for them. And I'm going to see their mom in a couple days. All right, guys. Dang it, I forgot one thing. I'm gonna have to go get it. Okay, I'm back. Did you miss me? I missed you. Okay, I got what I went. I grabbed what I forgot to bring over here, but let's get started. I hit the jackpot of some new and exciting, or at least new to me. I don't know, maybe some other store, other areas had this stuff last year, but I've not seen it at my store. So we're gonna get started. First of all, I bought these candles, which I can't decide if these are honeycomb 
or for next summer or if I'm going to put them in with my fall decor because this is the color of gold that I or yellowy gold that I want to use. So these may wait till next summer because they do look like a honeycomb, but I think they will also look good in the fall and I love that texture. So I grabbed two of those because and then here is a new pumpkin I've not seen before and they had them in just solid orange and then in like a really light teal color, but it's a crackle finish. And I just love it. I just love it. It feels very like old to me. And I think I'm gonna be able to get this to fit in with my boho type decor opposed to farmhouse. So I just love it. I love the, it's the same pumpkin I believe that they had that said like the words on it, but those are smooth and this one is obviously not. But I love that pumpkin. I think it just, I'm not sure what this dog is doing. So I grabbed a pumpkin. And yeah, they had, so I remember Valentine's Day this year, they had the hearts with the slats. But also look at the back. I think that is more interesting to me. These leaves with the, the wood across. But you could do an ombre effect on here. Now, it's supposed to hang, but you could also just sit it up. And then they had an egg corn. And then there was a small pumpkin, but I went with the egg corn. And I'm just wanting to bring in some different. They had a ton at my store of wooden signs that you could paint with, like, words on them and all of that. But I've got it so much. I was just trying to show you something new with there was a ton of new like unfinished wood signs this year. This dog. Then they had out a bunch of like picks, these berry picks. And I feel like they had them out at Christmas, I spilled coffee on them, at Christmas last year in red, but this is like a burgundy or almost a brown. And I really enjoy that like dark jewel tone. So I grabbed two of those in hopes to do something, I don't know. Um, but they are like, you get two picks. And each pick has a bunch of um, berries on it. And they had little berries too. And then I know these are from last year, but I still like them. So I grabbed two. And these also have wires on the back so you can attach them to things not just floral but you can attach them to things that maybe you don't want to hot glue them to. So I grabbed one of each. So I feel like in my fall craft stuff, I have a set of those. I'm gonna have to help her. She's driving me nuts here. Here, honey. I threw her bone in a box. Here. Guys, this is the difference between cats and dogs. Let me tell you. My cats, sleeping away. They could care less. This one, she's like, oh, you're talking and it's not to me. I need your attention. But we love her. What's next? Oh, and the Halloween stuff, they came out with new signs. And I feel like they might have had something similar last year, but I did, definitely did not see these. And it's trick or treat. And then this one says, beware, black cat crossing. What, duh. And they hang, but I will probably put these in my tear tray. And they had several, but like these are pretty decent thickness. You can hang them. I don't, I don't, I won't hang them. I know that. They will either get laid somewhere or put in like my tiered tray. And they had other ones, but obviously I had to get the black cat because, you know, I've got two of them. Two black cats. So I grabbed those and they had ones that were like more of a medallion shape. And then they had maybe some square. And I feel like I also saw in the fall section something similar, but they were like um, straw men. You know what they are, straw men. I don't know. All right. Now, this was something that I found and they had Halloween. So these were like, this is an owl but you can decorate like a sugar skull. And they had a sugar skull. And then in the fall section, they had a uh, straw man scarecrow. 
girl. Them, those words are hard today. They had a scarecrow and they had a couple other, and these are like unfinished ceramic is what they are. So what I would do is paint this. I'm gonna paint it, decorate like the sugar skull colors with the owl with some markers and then seal it with like a spray sealer. But you can have your kids do these. I mean, for a dollar, these are a, a decent size too. And they had all different ones and I think they're fantastic. One will be sufficient for me and I will decorate it, but I'll put this out with Halloween stuff. I mean, I could put that with fall, I suppose. Um, they had these pumpkins. I don't, I don't know. We're going to figure this out. I don't love the color, but I love the shape. But I also love the yellow. So, and these are sticks, like steaks, but you could easily just pop this off the back and then, um, use it for other decor. And then you have your wire and your raffia, but this can all be taken apart and reconfigured to match your decor. So I may, we'll see. I bought one. We'll see. I don't love it, but I wanted to see what I could do to it, if that makes sense. And they had a bunch. They had some with bicycles, which I did see last year, but they also had this same pumpkin, but smaller with like gather, thankful, blessed on it, but they were like half the size. And I think you hang them instead of, they didn't have um, the spikes. But they also had that were tiny, like this tall, sunflowers that you could stick in like planters and floral arrangements and stuff. But I just grabbed this one because, because. I grabbed this, I wanna put up for Sarah for her classroom. She can put her pens and pencils in but maybe paint like a rainbow or get a rainbow sticker and put on here and then paint it for her. I don't know, we'll see. Cause she's a teacher if you don't know. And I thought this is appropriate for her classroom. And it could hold her pencils and pens. I don't know what else she would do with it. I know some people made like floral arrangements and things in these boxes, but it's a beautiful little apple and I think it's appropriate for my teacher girl. Now, here's some fun stuff. I got a few more things to share. That makes me happy. Um, I don't need more stickers in my life. I'll just say it. But this, uh, look at these stickers, guys. And it says, I was trying to read it. Believe in the magic of harvest, carve out, oh, carve out some good time and happy harvest. So these are like just fall, but these are gonna look amazing in my planner. That's what I got these for, planner stickers. And the same with this, oh, and it says the only thing getting lit this weekend are my scented candles. It says, let's, I don't know what these say, some of them. Let's stay home. I don't know what that says. Let's, I don't know. But I got it for the cup of coffee. If we're all being truthful here. And the candle. And the leaves. Yeah, I don't know what that is supposed to say. Oh my gourd, happy fall. And they're gourds. Guys, these are killing me. These are, I should have grabbed more for giveaway, but these are amazing. They're stickers and they're amazing. And then hold on to your hat, my friends, because this is going to, the gnomes are back. Now, these are a little thick stickers to go into my planner, but I will use them. But look at that one with the pumpkin spice latte. Oh, and the coffee and the pumpkins. Now, if you can see in here, which I don't think you can, these are the, um, they're stickers, but they're multi-dimensional. So there's many layers to the sticker. I don't know if I can maybe peel it apart 
just to get to the flat sticker because that's really what for my planner I don't like I, I don't like the um, thick stickers like this because it messes with my writing and and that oh I can okay yes so I don't know if it'll come off cleanly but if I wanted to try if I pull the top layer off oh no that's not it that's just on the oh yeah that's a regular sticker so I could try to separate them and maybe take the top layer off so I could use them as just stickers you see how they have that extra extra layer to them yeah I'm definitely gonna need another pack of these so I can mess around with them because then I could just use the under sticker I'm not making any sense okay I got a couple more things guys and I'm saving the best for last I mean not really but look at the size of that bucket and it just says give thanks like what there were three I only like these two I think there was another like with the buffalo check or the gingham but I like the gray it's a give thanks and then this is my favorite always be thankful like how beautiful is that for one dollar like this is big you could put a whole like get some mums and put the whole pot down in these and use them as planters and then at the end of the season you just take the mum out plant them or whatever and you have this bucket for next year i mean to me that's fantastic and these are very very large sized um buckets that they have and I love them. So I just want to give you a good view. And then, guys, I'm telling you, DT is on it for fall. You need to get out and find this stuff. So I'm walking around, uh, I'm sorry, mini, bay, mini hay bales. What? These are tiny little bales of hay. They're wooden blocks with hay glue to them, if we're being truthful. But whatever. I don't have to deal with that mess. And look at their tiny. Think about that for a tiered tray, a little display on your coffee station for fall. Oh, guys, what is this crazy dog doing? I don't know what she's doing, but we just ignore her sometimes. She's rubbing all over the sofa. I don't know. Mini bays of hail. Mini bales of hay girl I'm so excited I can't get my words out okay then look at this little wooden apples what little wooden apples you get eight in a pack oh it gets better little wooden acorns eight of those and then little mushrooms I don't, I mean, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. I, I'm gonna paint these and seal them and put them somewhere, like in a bowl maybe, like a mixed bowl and sit it out on my, I don't know, but we have many hay bales and apples and acorns and mushrooms. We've gotta do something with this. This has to happen, guys. This is not even a joke. And then, last but not least, y'all know I'm a DIYer, and I find these big signs, and then what do I, Luna, what are you doing? What you doing? I find these signs, and then I come home, and I rip them apart, and I have to paint them. Thank you, Dollar Tree. What the heck is this? Look at this sign. It has a pumpkin out. So this could be Halloween or it could be fall. Halloween's giving. Let's be honest here. And then it's like chalkboard. It is not chalkboard. It is shiny. So you would have to use like a permanent marker, like a white or a silver marker if you want to do like chalk theme on here. Oh, but don't, don't be sad if you don't like the black. It also comes in a natural. 
What? You could also glue these together and uh, make wider signs. The, yeah, these are the length of the signs, you know, that they had like out at all the seasons. Now the back on this one is not as shiny as the front. What is happening? What is happening at the Dollar Tree, guys? I'm so excited. I cannot wait to create something with these. And I already have an idea for the both. I'm thinking the black chalkboard is gonna be more like a Halloween. And, and I could, if I was smart, you can glue them together, right? And do a Halloween on this side and a fall on this side. And all you have to do then is turn the signs. Your pumpkin, that lines up perfectly as long as you go the right direction you know like what you could hang it this may end up leaning on my fireplace with like some fun i'm thinking on this one like some fall words and stuff and then maybe some pumpkins down at the bottom and then like bonfire hay ride apple picking all that kind of stuff and then over here maybe a, a white cat and then some i don't know guys my cricket is gonna get some work. I'm gonna tell you right now, but what the heck? What the heck, Dollar Tree? What is happening? I am so happy and so excited for all the new things and what crafts we can come up with to make things. Because I was a I was a feared. I wasn't a feared. I was afraid that they would have, you know, a lot of the same stuff out that they have put out the last couple years and what were we gonna do and I don't know, but I did grab two of each of these. So two of the natural and two of the black. That's what it is. I'm like, what smells weird? It smells, um, it smells like a bonfire. I don't know. Okay, girl, get back on track. Stop licking me, please. We're getting back on track. We're gonna do some crafting. Um, definitely, I would say, if you see the signs, grab them. But also, you can use plain stickers on here, like the letter stickers. You can use any of the stickers that we bought on here to decorate it. You do not have to have a Cricut to cut out words and vinyl and decal. Would you stop? Um, but you can also go on to Etsy and order pre-cut words that they do on their Cricut or Silhouette or Cameo or whatever machine they're using. But I plan on doing, um, somebody come get this dog. I plan on doing some fall stuff. Now, if you don't like the pumpkin cutout and you wanna use this for Christmas, let's say, I mean, let's say you want to just stop licking me. Man, come sit up here. Come here. Come on. She likes lotion. There we go. I'll rub your belly if you stop licking me. Thank you. Um, you could put a big bow up here and hide the pumpkin or put like something up here, a, a piece of ribbon across it so you don't see the pumpkin. And then you could do like a Christmas scene on here because I love black and white Christmas scenes. You could do like a snowman with some star or some snowfall all over it, and then just put some wide ribbon to cover the top. I don't know, just a thought I had. Anyway, we're done licking now. Crazy dog. <laughs> all right, guys, I've kept up you. Oh, I have used up enough of your time. So I hope you enjoy and have a good one and happy hunting at the Dollar Tree. They finally got some stuff in. Yay! I will talk with you later.